A big week ahead for the president's Supreme Court nominee. Following her confirmation hearings, now her nomination is getting ready to head to the full Senate. But there's still more hurdles ahead. Lauren Blanchard in Washington with more. Monday, a procedural vote to move the nomination of Judge Kentonji Brown Jackson out of the Senate Judiciary Committee to the full Senate. I will proudly and confidently vote aye to advance her historic nomination to the uh, U.S. Senate. I think she and I have fundamental different views on the role of judges and the role that they should play in our system of government. Because of those disagreements, I can't support her nomination. Democrats will still get the nomination to the Senate through a separate vote, but without a recommendation from the Judiciary Committee. What I know is she will get enough votes to get confirmed. In the end, I suppose that's the only thing that matters. But I wish more Republicans would uh, look at the case here, look at the record. Judge Jackson will likely become the first black woman to serve on the nation's highest court. At least one Republican senator, Susan Collins, says she will vote yes. Senator Lindsey Graham says he's a no, despite supporting Jackson when she faced confirmation to be an appeals court judge. Other Republicans say her record is too lenient on sentencing. I think he's got a great personality, I think will be a good colleague on the court. But the judicial philosophy it seems to be uh, not the philosophy of looking at what the law says and the Constitution says and applying that. By the end of the week, it's expected the full Senate will hold a vote to confirm Jackson to the bench. On Capitol Hill, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.